So, let's look at, on uh, page 28, look at the stratification here. It says, Table 1, Gender Composition of Migrants by Region. Gyeonggi-do, uh, Central Area, Honam is Jolado, and Gyeonggi-nam is Gyeonggi-san, uh, and yeok san All ages plus plus means females are predominant. So, from any region, it's a female movement to Seoul despite Korea being a very patriarchal culture. The city should have more females if everything was equally distributed, just by sheer numbers. Um, zero sex ratio is balanced. Only one balanced sex ratio came from the area that's most developed. Everywhere else we're sending poor females to work for their family, or they were leaving their family, or establishing their family. Females are overwhelming in this age group. The workers, young workers here. Um, if they're older, it's more age balance. Males are predominant only if they're much older. So youthful females are flying to Seoul. And older males, maybe. Table two is on page 30. Education level of migrants, six years of age and over, by rural, urban, region of origin, and sex in Seoul, 1980. The same regions, um, if you look at where do they come from, they come from an urban area or not. You can see Jamido, um it did dominate Mayo. If you're urban and male, you tended to come to Seoul. If you're female, you stayed there. But notice from very rural areas that didn't have high urbanization, this, you know, had high males for urban origin. But sometimes, you know, high males, or excuse me, high females as well. So urban issues, rural, you can see strong rural males from this area as well. So the very high numbers from the most rural areas of Korea, but less from the more urbanized areas. Total, as you can see from different regions, males tend to outnumber for these more developed areas, and less developed areas uh, had more quality. There's still more males, it indicates, but these numbers tend to be higher than uh, so what about education? What about some cultural capital? You know, from poor region, it may be very difficult. Percentages with at least some education, uh, high school education, urban, rural, total. Urban areas, uh, look, at, look at the middle. Where did I want to, I want to look at the middle. Uh, Honan region, 23.3 is very low compared to the ones below it, Dongnam, Jeju. What about females? You can see female education. Males tend to have more education and leave. So male sexual, you know, male capital, cultural capital tend to be connected with more class capital, human capital. Males were educated more at this time. And they went. Let me summarize. This table shows that migrants from urban areas arrive with a significantly higher education level than those from rural areas. And Jolado tended to be the most rural of them all. Let me go to one more chart, table three. Economic participation rate. Urban, rural. Notice this one here. It's very high. Central regions for female compared to other regions. Also, this is very high for Honam. So lots of rural female migration from Jalal, the Honam area. And to cut to the chase, as they say, to summarize, the point is now demonstrated, where do they go? Where did they go? It's table 5 on page 33. Sort of the same categories, right? Same categories we looked at. 
professional manager, clerical sales service. But agriculture is separate. Yangyo, Central Provinces, Jolado, Yangna. Where do they go? Notice in Honam, they seem to be concentrated in one area. These are people in Seoul. It's the highest, but not as high as the other rural areas of Central or Yangyo around Seoul itself. But you very rarely find people migrating to Seoul from the more developed area of Rakusan. Another thing I wanted to show is this administrative manager. It's very small total, but since it's so small, you know, Yongnam has the highest amount here. Re re you know, social reproduction. Honam has the lowest. There are very few people who went into the administrative manager positions. We saw how male dominated they were from the other chart, but here. There's a regional element. There almost everybody except that region, and maybe this region. Other regions, you came from Seoul area, or you came from other you know, Busan area, you may have greater levels of different capital. So history matters. History matters in space, and history matters even if you think a big urban site can remove it and give you a second chance, to use that phrase of James. You know, Seoul didn't give everybody an even second chance. History mattered, and the accumulation of different kinds of capital mattered, and maybe stereotypes as well matter too. Um, let's look at this. The highest amount in this row is service. So, Hold on region, you know, they tended to have a much higher percentage than you would expect than even chance. And agriculture, well, that's obviously low everywhere. But that's an interesting point about this chart. Let's look at table five continued. This is male migrants again for that's the total migrants. This is only male migrants. We saw totals earlier. This is only males coming into the Seoul. And the ones that I want to look at are the central and Honam. Just we look at these two columns as the most rural areas to um, under production. You see high levels of production here, much higher than in the other category. So those people tended to take the lowest status production jobs. They did not have access to capital, and maybe there was a common stereotype as well on those people. Um, service, you didn't see much of that from the central provinces, but definitely people were more comfortable having people from Gelato as servants, basically. Uh, you also saw slightly higher in sales even compared to Yongnam, now, but slightly higher. But it's pretty even. There's not much difference in a lot of these. That's what this, why, why I talk about this first. It gives you an understanding that most arguments about inequality are based on statistical averages. They're not based on very clear black and white differences, literally. They're based upon percentages more and percentages less. What about females from different regions? Females from different regions. Look at this number under Honam. Production. Huge numbers of females moved into production. We think about that as a general thing, but no, it's a very specific regional effect too, that much, much more than any other region, Jolado area, has been sending people uh, into production services if they're female. Much higher than others. We could go on and talk about other frameworks, but I have a few other things I want to say. Any comments or questions? So this is just to talk about a slightly taboo topic within green politics to make you aware that space and gender and class can all be interactive. They're multidimensional. They're not exclusive to one category. So whenever you see someone analyzing one factor, always in your mind at least think there's got to be a level of space. There needs to be an analysis of different levels of cultural
capital alone. It's not just, it's not simply discrimination. There's a lot more going on than just the ideology of discrimination. Um, anything else? Why, what do you mean by politics? Because the, at first the way you have mentioned the politics will uh, capture the... Oh, the region, yes. But think about this. The politics created the ideology that the region would not be developed with many kinds of cultural capital. The region was kept out of hierarchies of power. Always different regions ruled over that area. So they didn't develop any cultural capital political organization. So, yes, and uh, I agree with you. The point is, massive political frameworks and ideologies can push people down, but over time, this is individualized. And this will affect people for generations to come. It would look like an individual thing, but they've been stunted. Stunted means you're not growing as much as somebody who is under better conditions. So they start out at a much lower level compared to people who coming from the Yangtze area. They need more education to get those people. These people already have it. So it repeats what was historically a political, ideological thing. But, right, I think it is, you know, it doesn't require someone to be discriminatory. It doesn't require a policy. That's why it's so sad. It doesn't require, you know, cultural education. It would require a lot of capital change, too. You would have to invest much more in this region. And that's the political issue. Um, and that still is not being done. There's still huge fights of decentralizing Seoul. Uh, over the new airport, they drive, I think that's dead now. Um, they want to do a science city, that may not happen because it decentralizes a lot of politics. Um, so, regions matter. Think of regions in China. Think of regions anywhere. Think of regions in the United States. I'm from a particular region that lost in the American Civil War and remained underdeveloped for quite a long time.